Right, we're all gonna get in the car. We're gonna go to town, get a few bits and pieces. I've been having a go at that plumbing again this morning, about two hours. It's still leaking. I had a go with a little extension piece. The leak is the part that's like in the wall there, so I think I need to get a little extension piece and some glue of some sort, because the tape, no matter what amount or configuration I've tried, it just will not stop leaking. Because it doesn't matter if this part is permanently fixed. In fact, I would prefer it. But who's coming in the car? We're going to town. Bung bung goggy. Right, bung bung, don't go running off. Come on, in the car. Everyone in the car. They're doing a lot of roadworks between our town here in Nassan and Suratani. It's like 30 kilometers. They're expanding the road. They're making the single lane into a two lane. Apparently the government owns the, the land up to the electric poles. But often people build their businesses out further anyway. Because the government won't come and turf you out unless they want the land for something. And in, in this case they do now because they're expanding the road. It's all the way between here and Suratani's businesses and houses where they've come along and just ripped the front of people's businesses up and the front of people's houses, which is their own fault for building out too far. This business too was built out further, but they've, they've, they've had to remove all the front of it. They've been closed for like a year because also there's been no, you know, no access and no parking, so the customers can't stop. But this is the lady's first day of opening in, in about a year, as I say. So we're going to get some breakfast stuff and they do salads as well. We're getting that for dinner, I think. Well, we brought like a takeaway back from that little cafe just to have it here at home. So I'll show you like the breakfast I got, it's 70 baht. So I got toast, I think there's two eggs, a bit of pork, bit of fish, bacon and a, and a salad as well. So I think that's not too bad, is it 70 baht? So I got like a plastic extension piece. I'll try that. I've also got another brass piece and I've got some like metal glue epoxy that says waterproof and it's got a picture of like plumbing stuff on the back. Well, I've epoxied that in. I really didn't want to, just in case it got, anything goes wrong. If that still leaks, I can't get that out and it's all glue in the thread. So any problem is gonna be remove the toilet, take the tiles out again and new pipes. So I'm just like, Pray that that works. Got a big ugly hole there. How am I gonna fix that? I've got this thing that came with the tap. I'm gonna try and widen that a little bit, see if we can slip it over. Right, I have managed to cut myself through the towel, so lucky I did have a towel. It's nearly there, you know, just a tiny bit more. So in order to widen it, what I'm doing is I'm Drilling through slightly at an angle. Perfect. That's worked out pretty nicely. Just, just pray to God that the the leak has stopped. I've you know, had enough of this now. I think I've been trying to do it for about six hours, like yesterday and today. But over here, it's all just trial and error, and sometimes you get it right first time, and sometimes it's like this. You just got to drive yourself. Nuts over it. See, that's it's, it's loose. I could feel it. It's not. It's loose. It's not binding. I see that's got tw twenty two. Twenty two turns. turns of PTFE tapering up to twenty six turns at the other end. That's not going to work. So out it comes. This is twenty five turns tapering to thirty two turns of PTFE. You don't normally need this many. Normally it's, for these kind of fittings, 12 to 20 in my experience, but for some reason this one, I'm not seeing any wet yet, so I mean, normally yeah, you'd see like damp straight away, so potentially fixed. Right, well, let's, let's go have a look at something different because I'm sure we're all sick of looking at that bathroom. Pen, what are you up to? 
tidying up, hiding all my stuff. Since we got back, Gorgie's sleeping in the car. He won't get out. Being lazy. And yeah, it started raining, but uh, not too heavy. In Thailand, and I think a lot of countries now use those thermal bricks, like the kind of hollow, or aerated concrete brick, whatever they're called. Um, so they're good for like insulation, keeping the sound out and the heat in or heat out or whatever. But they're a bit crumbly when you're drilling into them and they're not very good for hanging heavy things off, you know, you know like with traditional plugs. Anyway, what we're going to be doing is using some adhesive, some more epoxy to the rescue. So I'll show you how to use that quickly. Pinch it. Pinch. Pinch, 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 pinch. The sink needs to go exactly in line with the drain pipe. So when you, when you put the sink in and then the, the trap underneath, it all lines up to go into that nice and straight. I didn't realise this when I, when I first had this put in. I just thought, oh, as long as it's under here somewhere, that's okay. I've got this wall hung sink. This is quite heavy. And then imagine you put, you put things in the drawer and then once the sink goes on top and the tap and it's got water in it, it really is quite heavy. It comes with like some big screws and some like plugs for concrete. But because this is that thermal brick, I don't trust that at all. It's just not enough. The other sink was even heavier so as well as adhesiving in, epoxying in some bolts, I also built a shelf underneath to try and help support the weight of it a little bit. But imagine I'm talking about the drain pipes. So I've got two drain pipes to line up. So if I line this one up perfectly, this one, it wasn't in the right spot. So what I had to do was to get a piece of PVC pipe and bend it. And I did that very simply actually, just holding it over the stove, warming it up a little bit and then, and then just giving it a slight bend. It took a few attempts to get it right, but it, it works absolutely perfectly and, and, and this hasn't leaked. Let's just <laughs> double check. Right, so I'm getting the holes done for the sink. I've got it drilled out to what I need, which is gonna be 10 millimeters. Also what I'm doing is I'm putting a larger hole in the tiles just to give clearance around it. I noticed as well that this pipe in the wall is ever so slightly at an angle. So I've, I've estimated that it comes out to about one centimetre off centre. So I've shifted the whole sink over as well by one centimetre. So when the trap is in, it will go straight into that pipe without having to be like at an angle. This one widened as well. Yeah, what I do is I sort of like get one, one corner started and, and then straighten up. See, as I'm drilling there, the bricks just falling apart. They're very crumbly. For supporting weight, they're really no good, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing here. You know, I've got to get all that dust out. You need to get out as much of the dust as you can. So I'm going to use the blower again to sort of... Pen's cleaning out the garage. Hopefully doing a good job. You can see in our garage, we get a lot of standing water. When the concrete was poured, I specified the slope. <laughs> specified, you know, the most important part of the job is like, let's not have water sitting around the door. Of course, that's where we have the water. I'll have to come back and sort this out next year somehow. Maybe raise the floor in there slightly and raise the door slightly. All right, bung bung. All right, let's get these cut. Just regular bolts on, cut the tops off. Be safer to have it in a, a clamp, you know, a bench clamp, but I don't have a bench, so. Right, so these are 10 millimeter, and the hole is 10 millimeter, and basically that's gonna be epoxied into that hole. So I've got this stuff called Seeker Anchor Fix. They sell this in Home Pro. I'm sure there are other brands, but I used this last time on the other bathroom. It's a bit difficult to get it open. You can see there's two, so inside the tube, there's two separate bags. It's, it's an epoxy, and then and then this thing mixes them. All right, so everything's ready. Those holes are all the, the right depth. I've checked that. I've got all the dust out of them, so they're sort of nice and clean. And then, 
I've got to get this stuff kind of flowing together down this tube. You can see I'm, I'm only getting the black stuff flowing. There's none of the white stuff. It's starting to mix there actually. It's quite wasteful this. It's wasteful and smelly. So you need to be like well ventilated. But you can see what it's doing. It's essentially it's, it's mixing the epoxy together. So it's coming out in a ready to use state. Yeah, that looks sort of medium gray. I guess that's what I'm looking for. So the next thing is to stick this down the back of the hole. It's a bit difficult to judge it, you know, if you're using this every day, you'd get used to it, but it's hard to know sort of how much to, to pump, really. I don't want too much spilling out. And then it's just like, I've marked the bolt depth, so. The last thing I want to do is I want to scrape out that excess glue there. And that's why I cut the extra big hole because I want the weight to be held by the bricks in behind and not on the tile. So I want to have a gap between the bolt and the tile. Let's try and get rid of some of that excess epoxy. For this cabinet, I'm not going to build the shelf underneath like I, I did for the big one. The big one was it's obviously it's much bigger, much heavier. It had three bolts, but I just thought that that, that wasn't enough. And it's not because I don't trust those bolts. They're solid. They, they can support it, no problem. It's, it's the cabinet themselves. They look to be held on the brackets there. Like that, that big bolt's gonna come through that hole. But look, they're just like little screws into chipboard. So I, the reason I built the shelf underneath the other one is that I, I don't trust these little screws to take all of the weight of this. If you're fitting anything like heavy to thermal bricks, like a big heavy television, um, or like kitchen cupboards, something like that. I, th I think using these would be a really good idea. And the, the last thing I'll say about this stuff is it does seem to be quite wasteful. Like I don't think you can salvage this. There's, a, there's easily, you know, three quarters of it left, but I think once you've used it, that, that's it. It's quite expensive as well. I think it's about five or 600 baht for this tube. Something like that. So you want to make sure you've got as many jobs that need it lined up so you can like get your money's worth. It's sort of like, Eating down through the polystyrene. Lucky I caught that. I don't want to end up with that all over my tiles. Better get this out quick. So that's what that's going to look like. It said on the instructions it'll take about 30 40 minutes for those two uh, bolts to dry the epoxy stuff. Unfortunately, my plug is blocked. A bit hard to see on the camera, but it looks like I've got my, my extra centimetre of clearance, so it's going to be absolutely perfect to line up with that. Not the neatest job, but the only tool I had to do that was a hacksaw blade. Um, at least that works now. I want all this in place so I can bring the mirror in and line the mirror up and get the height right and then drill the holes for that. That's okay, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, you can get the same height as the window because it's exactly the same size as the window. Or is that too high? A little bit higher. Higher? <sighs> So for these fittings I'm putting up here for the mirror, see those, those hooks. You can see they come with plugs, but because these are for concrete, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use my own thermal brick plugs. It's quite difficult to get these hooks into place. So what I do is I line my hands up with where the, the brackets are, so I can then sort of estimate on the wall. Yeah, it's quite tricky really. That's on. Yeah, this mirror was like exactly the same dimensions as the window, pretty much, so I thought maybe it's best to sort of line them up, but um, it was just too high, it looked funny, so that looks fine. Yeah, this one's got a light in it as well, like you, where well, it's got like a light and a heater. You can sort of how it's like, it's quite difficult to hang it up. So I don't know how you hang it up whilst connecting the wires behind at the same time. Like, I don't know how to do that, but um, I've uh, I've got to figure it out, I guess. Cool. Can you see that sweat? Look, absolutely dripping, it's so hot. Mirror came with like a little junction box with some fittings. There's a thing there with like little screws to little screws, so it'll, all the wiring will go inside that box. So everything working here? Yeah. 
What do you think? Yeah, yeah. He looks alright, doesn't he? Yeah. I think that's it for today, maybe. I'll just tidy up. And then tomorrow I'll do the show. Just having my dinner now. Pen's brought me some fruit, and then this is the salad that we bought in that lady's shop earlier. It's like kind of like half fruit, half vegetable. It's like dragon fruit or something. I think it's got sweet corn, pineapple, cucumber and tomatoes and whatever. So I'm going to stuff this in because I'm, I'm really hungry. The dogs have perked up again, so feeling a bit better than when they were too hot earlier. It was quite hot today. The dog, he hasn't had his dinner. Well, they both want to go in again, but not yet. You've got to wash your feet first, Gorgie. Look, they're all muddy. You've been running in the mud. Wash your feet. Gorgie. Wash your feet. Come on. Bung Bung normally keeps his feet quite clean. Right, go on. I think that's the toilet switch. No, that's the outside light. It's that one. Yeah, you sit on it and then... And look, you can change how hard it is or how... where it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it comes from above your heart. Yeah. And then you've got to dry it. Look, press, press it dry up. Yeah. In the instruction manual it says, if there's risk of lightning, you have to unplug it. So if there's a storm, you can't use it. You've got to go in the other bathroom because you don't want to get zapped up the bum, do you? We're a naughty dog. We're a naughty bunk bun. What do you think you're doing? What's the matter with you, dog? You look miserable. Because you haven't eaten your dinner, have you? You should eat your dinner. See, look. Bung Bung's got all the energy because he's eating his chicken. 